Hello, comrades, and welcome back to the United States Empire. Uh, alright. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm usually gonna skip until something happens, so you're not gonna be seeing everything happening until stuff actually starts to happen. So, uh, we apparently have a destroyer ready. So, give me a So, when interesting events happen, I'm gonna record that, but for the most part, while we're just building up, we're just gonna wait here and do nothing. Well, I'm gonna do a lot of things, you are not gonna see any of them, because they're really, really boring. Also, I need to... Fuck it. Before I do that... Alright, you! You! How do I get you on a boat? It's a good question. How about you go here? Oh, the fleet goes there, and we stop that. Speed to 4, because we don't want to miss anything. And then we send everything there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's not what I wanted. You... Uh-oh. -uh. Alright, that's... How do I load things in the boat? That's a good question. Let's try something else. Hmm. You. Uh, rebase, yes. It's not helping me at all. Wait, wait, what's this? No, that's deselect. No. Oh my god, why? And yes, we have Boeing F4Bs. <laughs> Could you guys, like, how do I load Kangs in the fleet game? God damn it. I knew I should have learned this, but I didn't. There's no button for them, so... You know, even though it usually has a button here that says, yeah, you can load these the boats. Apparently not these things, because let me... Alright, I, I need to actually Google this, so... <laughs> Okay, alright, yes, I'm gonna watch, uh, have you all see this, but apparently when I do this, this should be... I'm, 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 I'm blind! I'm sorry, I'm blind. Rebase to carriers, all of them. <sighs> and we should be able to have two CAGs per carrier. Should be. So... Yep, all of the carriers are here. The what's... Yep, yep. All of the CAGs. All of the boats. All the planes are on the boat street. Can you go back to the... to San Diego for now? Really? Yeah, we can't have this, we need to cover this. Anyway, yes, a fleet number 2, please. Good. You. Everybody be based to carry it. It was right there, I'm like, oh, I can't see it! I can't see it, because I'm blind. Very well. Yay! We now have a full... Contingency of aircraft based carrier. They are horribly looking, but they are. By the way, um, let's take a look at our picture. So that's our infantry, that's our cavalry. I do love the new icons, especially when they're, uh, you know, properly designed for the nation. Uh, I guess that's militia. Is that American militia? I guess, maybe. Who knows? Old militia, 1918. We have garrisons. Ah, uh, uh, the British helmets. <laughs> Armor cars. Yeah, uh, I guess it's a scout car, but doesn't it, isn't it supposed to have guns? <laughs> Anti-aircraft, 76 millimeters. Not oh, bad. Anti-tank, 75 millimeters. Yep, yeah, we're that. Yep, yeah, we're kind of shitty. 155 M1917. Ah, oh, God, Americans and their designations. 75 millimeter M1897A4. All right. <laughs> So, those are our uh, uh, ground units. These are our. Um, these are our. These are our airplanes. Englishman, it's hard. Carrier Air Group, where are you? I said Boeing F 4B interceptors. P 35s. <laughs> oh, God. Strategic bombers. We actually have a flying fortress. What? How is that mean that we have flying fortresses? I don't think that's right. I mean, yeah, the flying photo is light, like 46, 47 design. Tactical bombers, the B-23 Dragon. <laughs> God. I know my uh, World War II most vehicles a lot. I've never heard of a B-23 Dragon. Transport planes, the Douglas C-32. Really? 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 I mean, come on. So, I guess, I guess we have some 
basic 4 engine airframes and that allows us to... Yep, mm -hmm. I guess. Yes, we have flying fortresses and C-37 Douglas, alright. And boats. We have the carrier, Essex class. Battleships, South Dakota. The super heavy battleships, which the American, well, the United States never built. I do believe they were the Alaska were planned. Basically had, but they were kind of like a, um, what's it called? Not a South Dakota, something like a Midway class, maybe? I don't know. They had um, four turrets as opposed to three. You know, this one has five of them. There's another one here. Although, by the positioning, that might be six of them. These might be on the sides of the ships. So, there should be one on either side. Yeah, that's a lot of guns. We have the Colorado class battlecruisers, the uh, Independence class S4 carriers, which we, I guess, will make a couple of them for our uh, anti submarine fleets. Light cruisers, the Defense class. Yep. And the destroyers, which are slightly better than the uh, Denver class, but you know, not by much. And transport ships, obviously. So our carriers are level 6, battleships 5, super heavy battleships 1, because, mm, I guess. We have rank 5 battlecruisers, rank 6 carriers, and rank 1, tier 1, level 1, basically old shit. <laughs> right, right. So does that mean... Damn it. The strategic bomber, yeah. The first type of bomber the US can have is the B-17. Alright. Wait. Yeah, the B-17 is the flying fort. It's just this one is the early version. Tactical bomber, really? The tactical bombers are rank two. What the hell do we have before the dragon? Alright, carrier group rank one. Yeah, yeah. Our air force is kinda shitty, but we have Boeings, I guess. <laughs> Also, what are you doing? Why, why do I need reinforcements? Fine, there you go, reinforcements. Stop bothering me, buddy. Good, so um, I'll be back when something happens, probably. Wow, I just noticed these carriers take up a lot of our industry. You can only build one industry at the moment. Damn it. Alright, so our supply situation has been stabilized. So let me do... Damn it. Forgot. For fuck's sake. There we go, one for you. And I guess now at the moment we don't need double hits. No point in wasting that. And you! The rest of you would be nice. I am gonna give you a bit more just, just in case. And then we should maybe have enough to, yes, build a bit of industry. Uh, <laughs> next to the carriers. Crude oil. I believe we can give you. A lot of crude oil, if you so desire. Canada? Good. Meanwhile, nothing else is happening in the world, so... Uh, Japan. That's a lot of rare materials you want us to give you, but... Uh, we are the United States. We have a lot of resources. Look at that shit. And <laughs> we're giving some a lot of these away. Fine. If you have the money. We're rich. We're filthy rich. We'll give stuff to you. Uh, speaking of... I have an idea. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, what is it? Majors. Majors! The United Kingdom. I would like to buy a production license. Will that be possible? Since you can't give me battleships because you're assholes, I do want my cruisers. So, how much money are you willing? Well, you're never gonna like me. Okay, so, if I want. This is just for test. I'm not gonna do it yet. Yeah, I guess we could buy some uh, better cruisers from the uh, from England once we research them, or even from Japan. At least you know, technologically advanced cruisers. I think I'm gonna do that in the future. Not at the moment, I kind of want to wait a bit. Oh, so first thing happened: Italy enforced puppet on Ethiopia. Boo! How rude! Even that's Ethiopia. They didn't actually annex it. Usually they annex it. I guess this one is like, nah, we want just puppets. Puppets. Alright, uh, in case you forgot how the uh, world looked in uh, 1946, according to Paradox, it's not quite like that. That's Romania over there. My homeland. Currently I'm living uh, somewhere around here. That's Hungary, Yugoslavia. Uh, Yugoslavia. 
Yes, it was a big thing back then. Czechoslovakia, it was one thing back then. <laughs> Austria, Italy, France, obviously, you can read all of this. The Grand Soviet Union. Here's, here's the catch. The Soviet Union isn't that big. Uh, because of the way the globe is, 2D maps have to be stretched out along the uh, the poles. So, you see these giant provinces here? That, that is, they should be about the same size as uh, one of these, right? But, because of the way 2D maps work, they're kind of stretched out. So that's why the Soviet Union looks to be twice or three times as big as the United States. When in, when in reality, it's about the same size. So, there you go. Uh, Naturalist China. At this point in time, natural nation. Why can't I speak proper English? I don't know. China <laughs> was busy with a sort of civil war. And it was not a big united thing. You had... Uh, a bunch of military cliques and uh, warlords wanting to prove they are superior. Also, Japan had gotten some territory over there, including uh, the vassalization of Manchukuo from China, which is a pretty big place. And apparently, no, nah, it's not enough time. Problem was, it's nothing. It's just space. It's, there's little of value in Manchukuo, as we can see here. There's some resources over there and. So they wanted to conquer all of China. Oh, right. Uh, sure. Give us money. Though there will come a point where money will not be required. A moment since we are making a lot of shit. We are gonna accept all of these trades. Uh, oh my god. What do you want? Yes, yes. Oh, Spanish Civil War began. Let me just... Ah, uh, yes, energy... Yes, energy. We have lots of energy. We're close to reaching the limit anyway. So, Japan wants energy for, for one coin. So the Spanish Civil War has been... In early 1946, after, after the electoral victory of the socialist popular... Of the socialists, popular demand for social equality evolved into a virtual revolution against the clergy, landowners and monarchists. Mobs attacked churches and tried to... And try to collectivize farms. So slightly communist tendencies there. I uh, yes, communist from com communes, I believe. Yes, union started strikes and anarchists assassinated enemies of the people. And quotations. The newly installed government was unable to restore order. The Spanish army joined the conservatives and Catholics to put down the social revolution, and they thus styled themselves the nationalists. The government, the government faced an army rebellion, styled them, no, the government facing an army rebellion styled themselves Republicans and decided to fight joining in with the forces of revolution. The Spanish Civil War had begun. Many countries like Germany, Italy and the Soviet Union intervened with forces in the conflict. Yay! And now war started. So these guys are nationalists, these guys are Republicans, so nationalists are the government and the worker, the socialist, the communist. Uh, the Republicans, if I remember what I read, <laughs> are the army and the landlords, or the businessmen, the, I don't know, I guess, royalty, if there's something else. So, the king and the army and the landowners and the big businessmen, you know, the old guard, is here while the government, which parliament and stuff like that, and the people and the workers are the nationalists. Let's see how that ends up this time. It should end in a nationalist victory, I believe. Yay, we have two destroyers. Whatever. A trade from Ecuador. Right. Let's skip a bit more. It looks like the UK is being trying to influence us again. Yes. Yes. 60 energy. Jesus Christ, man. All right. I do have a lot of energy, but Jesus. You people need energy, not coal, I guess. That's the first place we're gonna... Well, Mexico and the Central America are gonna be the first place to... to invade, but that's still a long way off, unfortunately, because we are the United States, also Liberia. I do believe at this point... Let's see, diplomatic, where is it? I guess not. <laughs> Puerto Rico. 
Hello. I forgot you existed. <laughs> well, yeah. Everybody forgets Puerto Rico. So those are all islands. Philippines is a puppet. We should have Liberia, I do believe. What the hell? Uh, where is the US? Alawi Philippines, and that's about it. We don't have Liberia this time? Pretty sure the US had a, uh, a puppet. Liberia. See the flag? Notice the resemblance. <laughs> Yeah, uh, should have a puppet as should have Liberia as a puppet, but I guess not. Hmm, what do I know? Could be totally wrong. Which hasn't happened before. No, they don't want more energy. Give me money. Holy shit, we are rich. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, how long are these boats gonna take? Uh, 1946 October. Damn it. Very well. We should accept that. We are not losing any supplies. Yeah, uh, I, I am gonna do something with this money, which is really important. So... Actually, Romania. Where are you? No. Everyone. Who's producing the most supplies? The Soviet Union and Japan. And then France. Um, not that. For trade agreement, buy supplies. They don't wanna give me supplies. You... Capitalist pigs, yeah, right, fine, 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 be like that. But if they were, they were gi going to give me supplies, they would sell me for 0 0.19 money. Alright, how about you? Well, it's cheaper anyway, so uh, please give me supplies. I don't want to stack up on supplies. Since I'm going to use most of my industrial capacity to... Where is it? To build up industry. I kind of want to have supplies. And I have a lot of money. Since everybody wants to trade with me. France, can I get some supplies from you? No! Come on, France, I thought you were friends. Italy? Italy is gonna give us supplies. Even Italy is giving us supplies. France is like, no, fuck you. Come on, France, don't be like that. We'll only be angry with, with each other after the Second World War. <laughs> Well, not in this uh, timeline because I don't know, Germany doesn't want to give us anything. Because in this timeline, we're uh, only as a puppet and I don't have ports with it. USA! Greece! Can I get some supplies, please? No? Oh, fine, be like that. Yes, yes. And now we are giving. getting. Let's accept though. 50 of those. United Kingdom! Yeah, sure, why not? So yeah, um, because of our plan, everybody's gonna be, yeah, be upset with us, but they'll be part of our glorious democracy. <laughs> Meanwhile, in reality, after World War II, France and the United States didn't quite see eye to eye, which is why France wanted to have a, an autonomous independent army as opposed to something that was dependent on US material and arms, which everybody actually wanted to do, but France took it a bit uh, above. Beyond and above. Uh, yes. Oh, now you want Steve. Fine. <laughs> You're lucky I want those supplies. Right, stuff happening in uh, June 3rd, 1936. Also, other stuff that I was saving for a while, but France decided the popular front. We have not forgotten the night of the 6th of February, 1944. What the hell was that? We finally have a government of the United Left, and we'll use this to heal the wounds left. The wounds left and our new labor laws will bring greater peace to the French economy. Um, I guess. Sorry, France, I... Internal politics I'm not really familiar with. Meanwhile, destroy anti-aircraft armament. Yay! And destroy engines and destroy armor. I think I forgot to put destroyer guns. But yeah, you know, it happens. It should be working, so what is it? Yeah, it's just taking forever. Very well. So yay, we're improving our destroyers, which we were. Also a lot of trades, in case you forgot. This is what we're trading, mostly energy. Everybody loves our coal, so... Ooh, upgrades? What upgrades? Game, what upgrades? You, don't move that. Move this. 
What type of are these? I don't see, I guess. I believe it's the... The boats. Where is it? You, destroyer. How do I... Whatever. The game says it needs upgrades, it's gonna need upgrades. So let's upgrade them. Although, actually, no. Fuck that. Fuck that. And here's the reason why. They're gonna need upgrading later anyway, since we're gonna rush technology, so... We're gonna do that later. At the moment, we just wanna build up a lot of our... Uh, industrial capacity. Speaking of, yay! Industrial production events. More industry, and allows us research of engineering brigades. We need those, but eventually. We shouldn't have a problem until 1941, 42, when we can actually declare wars on, on people, I hope. If else, if not, the entire fucking play is dead. <laughs> we should have plenty of time to build up our uh, ground forces and industrial efficiency. Excellent. Now, tell me that. Industrial efficiency, you're saying is no problem. Very well then, I shall keep moving industrial efficiency up. Uh, speaking of, can I now do... Nope, we need that free. Damn it. Oh, it's 32! <laughs> really lacking, game. <laughs> really lacking in, in, in the industrial capacity. What do you want? Sure, I'll give it to you. Yeah. We're making money, and a lot of money. We're also getting supplies, a lot of supplies. Got the kingdom is has no idea what he wants to do with the influence, which is nice. We are getting some diplomatic influence back. Also good. I wanted to look at something. I forgot what. Intelligence! We have four enemy spies caught. Really? Free press, damn it. <laughs> and we have a bunch of spies in all of these places. Already. Yeah, our spies are good. We have ten active domestic spies. Excellent. Really participants. We don't care about this. What we care here is... Well, they're making rifles. Mexico is building escorts and researching interceptors. Panama is building escorts. Alright, so... I want you to increase threat. This is your job. Increase the threat of everyone. Canada, not so much, but man. We have spies there. Might as well increase. We could... Prepare for covert operations. I don't care. There is something I do want to do, so... Major! I want spies in all of these countries. Especially Russia. Well, we're gonna go to war with everyone, so if we had spies in every country like this, we should be fine. Eventually, we don't care about them that much. But eventually, if we have spies, we might be able to use them for things. Stuff. Carl. <laughs> Damn it, what now? Yes. Small arms advance. Yeah! Woo! We actually have better guns for a change. Well, rifles, pistols, and the like. Eventually, even an SMG. <sighs> and new things are happening. The games of the 11th Olympiad. The 11th Olympic Games were recently held in Berlin, Germany. Attended by athletes from 49 different nations across the world, the 1936 Summer Olympics are the first in history to have enjoyed limited live television coverage. German athletes saw the most successes, winning 43 gold medals, while the Americans came in second with 24. Four of these were won by Jesse Owens, the single most successful athlete, athlete of the Games. The Games are concluded! Meanwhile, heavy guns co research completed, supply production advanced. Like, go from here. Like cruiser engine advanced, like cruiser armor, like cruiser anti aircraft, like cruiser armament. I don't know why destroyers didn't get. Destroy our moment didn't get upgraded, unless I missed it in before, which could happen, I guess. And we move on. Our ration limit is actually going lower. Why? I don't know. Yes, Japan, be like that. I don't care. Oh, it's nice not having to worry about supplies and resources. Look at this shit. <laughs> We're almost at the limit, I believe. With, uh... What's it called? Energy, right. So, could you raise our rational unity, please? Since we're building, well, busy killing spies. Neutrality. Before the, late, um, the DLC and the expansion, you could actually use your spies to lower the neutrality of your country, which is nice. We also have the Enterprise and your town CAGs ready, but eh, we are waiting for the boats. 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the uh, those two carriers in the same fleet as the newer ones. We'll see though. If they're as good as as fast, we'll do it. If not, well, not. Well, we are getting officers that all be sleek since we're not building anything. Why would we not? Oh no, we're shocked. They don't want more money anymore, or or energy anymore. Yes, 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 whatever. And they are completed, the Yortan and the Enterprise. Uh, where are we going to need these boats more? Alright, so Yortan. Uh, let's put you here for now. Carrier 3. That could be a problem, because we have Carrier 6. So, let's compare the... No, damn it. Compare the Hornet class. Can I move this? No. Why should I be able to move that? Fuck me. Come on. So, compare that with this, damn it. Of course, we can't have both of them open, right? Right? Damn it. Alright, so. Blah, 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 max speed 22 kilometers. That's important, though. And meanwhile, these guys have max speed 25. So, yeah, the. <sighs> the Enterprise and the Yorkton. Yorkton? Yorktown. <laughs> Are. York Lexington class? Wait, what? Wait a minute. Oh, Jesus, the Lexington is even older. It's a Lexington class. Yeah, 21. Uh, your town is 22. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Well, you're gonna be your own little fleet. I do believe our destroyers are even shittier. So, destroyers 2. As opposed to destroyers 3. Yeah. So. Task Force Dagger, I guess. Meanwhile, Enterprise. Go to Enterprise. No. <laughs> you? Nah, guess not. Fine, 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 fine. Fine. We'll do something with Task Force Dagger. I don't know what. Probably have them as um, anti somebody warfare. Or something. They're still normal carriers, so they have uses. And besides, their uh, carrier air wings can be. Upgraded. That shouldn't be too big of a problem. Go to Los Angeles, I guess. Yeah. Don't go to Los Angeles because the harbor in Los Angeles is shit. Alright, you. Pacific fleet, go here. It's no longer any need for you to be separated. I guess we'll send Task Force Dagger down there as well. There's two carriers and two destroyers. Should be fine, the Clemson class. <laughs> Poor Clemson class. Well, at least they're not horribly backwards compared to the carriers, unlike the guys in the god fleet. What's this? Uh, okay. Airbase strike tactics, tactical air, adva air command advance, nice. Heavy bomber pilot training, strategic air command, heavy bomber ground crew training, cool. Strategic bomber and tactics advance, excellent, I guess. <laughs> we should totally focus on something else though. You. Destroyer engine is two years ahead. Okay. Strategic air command. Ah, these, these are tactics though, so unless they go way ahead, three years ahead, we're not gonna stop. And yes, I'm building a researching mechanical computing machine because I want to research things faster. And radar, because radar is good. Having radar makes a lot of difference, especially in on naval tax force. I do also need something else. Which I don't know how to do that, I think. Alright, could you... Hey, Darby. Go back a bit, yes. Leave this first corp. Leave this first army. First army group. San Francisco HE. You, go here. Yes, I did a lot of bullshit, but there's a very good reason for that. So, you go away and go back into... Pacific? No, consuls... West. And meanwhile, you cease to exist. You are not required. You cease to exist. You are also not required. You cease to exist. You are not required. And San Francisco HQ. Assuming we have somebody to put in charge. We do. Logistic wizards. Unfortunately, they all. Well, we have Droger. I don't know. 
I kind of tended to put an old guard since they're not going to do a lot of fighting, but uh, we, we are the United States, we might have enough people, so... You, Broger, you are going to be in charge of the naval HQ. And all of the little fleets are going to be there to take advantage of his uh, supply bonus. What? Where did you go? Uh, I fucked something up. Yep. Pacific Theater. No, 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 no. You're right. I fucked up. Naval HQ. Right. Pacific Battleships. Naval HQ. Atlantic Battleships. Naval HQ. And Task Force Dagger. Naval HQ. The thing is... I have... I do believe the fleets still take... I hope! It's how it works. I hope the fleets are affected by the uh, the leader of the HQ. Was that infantry weapons? Yay! Cool, excellent, fantastic. Moving on. I remember that being the case, but maybe that was a while ago. Infantry anti-tank weapons, always nice to have. Though we'll have tanks for that. I mean, infantry isn't supposed to fight tanks, is it? <laughs> so right, we've reached maximum energy. Maximum energy. It's all right. Speaking of. One more try. One more time. Republic of Spain. Hey, do you want some uh, energy? No. Fuck you then. Do you want some energy? No. I'll kill as well. Can't do with Mongolia. Paraguay. Nope. We're guaranteeing the independence of Paraguay. Uh, can we actually declare war on people we are guaranteeing? Nobody wants energy. Why? Because you're out of money, that's why. Fine. Well, if you want energy, you know where to buy it. Right, right, right. Light artillery advance. Uh, always good. Basically, you know, uh, small artillery for... No. More... Uh, what's the word I'm using? It? Mobile artillery. It's not corp artillery as opposed to mortars and grenade rifles, I guess. You know, stuff the infantry divisions themselves, the infantry brigades can carry with them around. I guess. <laughs> I could be wrong, but that's what I know. So, yes, we can actually build industry almost as much as you want, but for now it's good. Once we start pumping our industry, we'll have more industries to build more industry to build more industry to build more. You get the idea. Should be fine. No, oh, the elections of 1946, damn it, I just changed the government. Franklin D. Roosevelt maintains his uh, presidency. Right, 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 right. So, yeah, also industrial advance again. Um... Political intelligence. Eh, whatever. We're susceptible to the axis. What does this mean? You know what? Fuck it, I don't know. I forgot what it means. It's not a big of a deal. We do we want resources or supplies? Eh, resources for now. Crime fighters, counter espionage, political intel. Defense reinfor defense reinforcement chance. No. Carter, go back there. Armor practicality. Mobile unit, so I guess we keep that. My opinion is I do believe mobile affects everything that's mobile, so tanks, cavalry, unless it's you know, tanks, cavalry, armor cars, but we, we'll see. Nah, it's alright. Captain ship, uh, that's about it. That's all we can do at the moment. Yay, us. Yes, yes. Okay, we continue with our time of doing nothing. <laughs> we have 99 fleet spies. We have 99 fleet spies. Really? We are the United States after all. Uh, right, so those are all the major powers involved. Um, Alright. Wait, no, 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 no. I guess they're all in Central America, so... I guess we're gonna evolve those. We have free spies! The game gives us free spies, why should we not take advantage of them? There we go. And then we will have spies in all of the Americas. North America. It's us and... What? Guatemala, El Salvador, Cuba, I guess everything. In the Atlantic, that's slightly north, is in North America. Fine, 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 fine. 
Well, can't leave islands unmolested on odd, on odd oceans. So, no more spies. We have detected spies activity. Yay, us. Oh, fine, do that. We are raising our national unity, which is nice. So, hunt the spies down and raise the national unity. Also, supplies! Education. Very nice. We do believe. Uh, 13. Right, we have too many spies, frankly. Way too many spies. Holy shit. Can we use... Give me a moment here. I forgot I'm the United States. And yeah, I can do this. Right. Uh, give me more officers. Our army is going to expand a lot. So also you. One. There you go. Happy. I'm not happy. But if you're happy, we're happy anyway. Still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need officers for our soon to be massive army. 1942. Soon for you. Whatever. Shit. I forgot. Stop. Stop! I forgot. I need education, supply, and supply organization, please. Uh, two years ahead. Education is two years ahead. Supply organization two years ahead. Everything else looks good. I am gonna pump my supply transportation a lot. You are really affecting this. I hope you are. If not, well, somebody's gonna tell me. Too little, too late. But yeah, somebody's gonna inform me I'm fucking up as always. Submarines! We can build submarines! Can we? How does our how do our submarine look? I want to see this. So, <laughs> S-Class. Look at it. Isn't it cute? Whatever. <laughs> but we can build them. If we so desire. I I think I'm going to build a few of them because supposedly they help with naval spotting. So they are, if you put them in a fleet, in a surface fleet, they'll provide an increased view range or something like that. And as I'm thinking of Hearts of Iron 2, which is also a possibility. Cavalry, small arms, yay! So, stuff is happening, not really that important, but I kind of want to show you guys how the front in Spain is, is uh, changing, because it's really interesting to see. Although it looks like the Nationalists are on the ropes. They lost everything south, now they're stuck in the north, uh, northwest and northeast. Meanwhile, cavalry support weapons, cavalry anti-tank weapons, artillery carriage and sight advance, cavalry light artillery advance, supply production advance. But yeah, it looks like this time the Republicans might win. Basic fuel, basic single engine airframe, always nice to have. I'm looking here. Mechanical, right. We are now in 1947, so our technological advances aren't that advanced anymore. Oh, that's bad. Artillery battle ammunition is good. Now this is bad because stop light tank brigade. We can build light tanks. Um, this means there's an enemy, at least one unit here that got surrounded. So if if the uh, nationalists can't break through these provinces, this thing if it gets attacked and loses the battle, it's gonna cease to exist. Same here, but I think they broke the encirclement. It's interesting. Speaking of interesting, what's our light armor? <laughs> Oh my god, the M1A1 combat car. <laughs> it's a car, alright? <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <laughs> so yeah, uh, might be a Republican victory. I don't believe the Republicans won historically. Not sure. I can't remember exactly. Stab in the back, yeah, we, if we need those. Uh, diplomacy? Can I? Nope. I guess not. Highest threat. Italy is the highest threat. They're at war with somebody else, but it's not fine, whatever. <laughs> uh, can I get Europe here? So, Italy and Austria are heading straight for uh, Nazi Germany. Uh, <laughs> the Soviet Union has no friends, except Republic of Spain. And I'm looking for the other place. There it is. Naturally, Spain is heading towards the Axis. So, Republican are the Communists, apparently. Alright. Although, really? Republicans are gonna win? Could happen. Depends how much... Um, oh! That unit got annihilated. Yeah, looks like the Nationalists are dead. Ooh, and their capital surrounded Burgos. Yeah. Weird. 
but it happens. As I said, this game is not really historical. Get out of the way. Yep. Looks like the Nationalists are not old. Just I, I keep forgetting which ones are the Republicans and which ones are not. Oh, industrial. Our first industrial capacity. We are going to place it in Washington. For the moment, we're going to place them where we have high infrastructure. That way they get constructed over there faster. They're already built, but you know, we assemble them, I guess. So the first things, we're just going to put them around the vulnerable, but high infrastructure areas of the East Coast, I guess. Maybe the West, if we have, except the West has not, doesn't have infrastructure 100%. So this is where we'll put most of our initial inf industry, especially where we have anti-air guns. Anti-aircraft guns, anti-air guns. So it's, I guess they're shooting air as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is clear. Industrial efficiency, industrial production. Excellent. You. No. Nope. Keep pressing production for some reason. Go back up. Do, do what I tell you. Play from Brazil. So, uh, uh, looks like the war in Spain is about when. Now, I do believe France, Italy, Germany, and the USSR got involved in this conflict. Uh, helping one side of the other. Destroy a main armament. Oh, and Nazi Germany, obviously. Cool. What do you want, Canada? Crude oil. Max on crude oil, so you can have it. Max on metal as well. It's all good. Agriculture, nice. We need more manpower. We don't need it for anything. Yeah. The last days of National East Spain. Man, they're making quite a progress. I think they lost most of their first line combat units and now are now just getting overwhelmed. Meanwhile, the Hindenburg disaster. The German passenger airship Hindenburg was Hindenburg was destroyed today while attending to dock at Lakehurst Naval Air Station in the United States. For reasons not yet determined, the airship was engulfed in flames and crashed to the ground, claiming 35 lives. Due to the scarcity and expenses Expense of helium, the Hindenburg, like all German passenger airships, was designed to use hydrogen, which provides greater lift but is also flammable. With public, sh public faith shaken by this disaster and the rise of much faster passenger aircraft, could this spell the end of the airship era? Uh, spoiler, yes it did, but they're making a comeback. Oh, the humanity. Ah, uh, sure. You're telling me I'm wasting industry on reinforcements? I'm not. Fine, I guess. Ah, we're getting improved efficiency, and that's why we're getting these slight increases over there. How am I looking here? Ooh, we're almost capable of building all of our industry. We also have more industry to deploy. Deploy the industry! Ha! Huh, New York has full industry. Maximum amount of industry capacity you can have in a province is 10. Done with that. Philadelphia. It is next. Good. Good. Right, let's go back to Spain, where one of the most brutal conflict so far is about to end. Yay! Republican Spain and next national Spain, which is now part of the country. Republican Spain enforced civil war on national Spain. So, which means... Uh, politics? Intelligence? Europe? <laughs> I can't see who's in charge of the... Ah, God damn it, game. Really? I can't see who's in charge of National Spain. I guess. I am curious, but I guess not. We have no idea who won, except the Republicans won. We have no idea who they are, what they do, but uh, they won. And I know there's no way. And Arts of Iron 2 had better windows. <laughs> More information. Also, I understand this is limited by resolution, but couldn't you like, expand this a bit? Yeah, let's not complain about stuff that can't be changed anymore because Hans Vine 4. But still, man, you could do stuff. Uh, I'm still buying supplies. We're getting a lot of supplies, but still buying supplies. What do you want? More supplies. We have money. We had money. You know what? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Alright, I'm running out of space, so uh, 
People's Army Advance, Delay Doctrine Advance, Laxity Defense Advance, Rocket Test, Mass Assault uh, Advance, Infantry Warfare, Tactical Command Structure, Operational Level Organization, very good we have. Integrated support advance, industrial production again, and efficiency again. So, you know, things happen. Because <laughs> why not? We need all of those. We're still uh, researching 73 projects out of 41. Speaking of, why do you do that to me? Why? Fine. I know we're upgrading our industrial efficiency and our uh, leadership, but come on. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? What is this? Panama is requesting our permission and technical expertise in, produce, in producing T units of Curtis P36. They're willing to pay us. Sure. Panama. Huh, this is the first time I've seen the AI requesting a production license. Then again, I've only been played, played as Romania for most of my time, or smaller countries. So. Well, that's done. It's surprising, so that's how it looks. Whoa. Excellent. What do you want? Fuck your supplies. I I have. Ooh. I need my money. Hold on, I mean, I think I'm. We give them money for supplies. We don't want to give them money for supplies, but we also want to build all industrial capacity. Which is nice. Because we can build more industrial capacity with all industrial capacity. <laughs> Boston? Why do you disappoint me? Oh, I only had three. Alright. How's it looking? Uh, we're starting to build our naval bases now, which is nice, nice, nice. And we are... We just need twice as much industry as we already have. <laughs> and I do want operation level organization to be higher, so that's why I'm keeping there. Radar, tactical command structures, we can deal with that. Um, yes. Panama, right? Hello. Yeah, we're giving you parties. Curtis, Curtis, but you know, where is it? That is, they won't help you because we'll use our shitty cags, Schwerpunkt, and Blitzkrieg. Yes, yes, and Large Front, eh, acceptable. 